Thank you for visiting Aces Matter. My name is Cindy and I'm the founder and president. If you drop by this website thinking that there would be some spectacular layout, some spectacular videos, and some spectacular content on adverse childhood experiences, I'm going to have to apologize and say that it's not there yet. The reason why it's not there yet is because Aces Matter has quite a bit of money that it needs to raise in order to get boots on the ground so that every single household, no matter how much money you make, no matter what your zip code is, no matter what your circumstances are, ACES Matter is on a mission to make sure that every single household has this knowledge in their hand so that it influences how we discipline children and most importantly, how we discipline ourselves. You see, growing up, in my culture, we didn't talk about mental illness. We didn't talk about mental health. We didn't talk about emotional abuse. We didn't talk about emotional neglect. What is that supposed to mean? And what I've learned is that when you're growing up and your daily responsibility is just to try to survive, anything goes. But now that we have this information in our hand and we know that the brain, the conscious, the mind, whatever you want to call it, is the number one thing that we must take care of if we ever want to see humanity improve, if we ever want to see our lives improve, if we ever want to see children change the way they are facing bad shit that just happens to them. We have to instill in our communities that it is okay to talk about mental wellness. It is okay to feel sad. It is not okay not to do something about it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Or some of you went through something traumatic. You made it to the top of the hill, but, but not without scars and bruises. And as ACES Matter continues to go on this mission to try to fundraise, I will continue to give out as much free information as I can. But if we really want to inspire change, we're going to need your help. So whether you donate $5 or you take this idea and you share to your platform, do something about it right now. Because I will not stop. And to every little girl that looks like me, that shares the same dark skin as me, has a chance to understand that it is okay not to be okay. Adverse childhood experiences and the knowledge that we have in our hands right now from doctors, if you believe in science, changes the game. And I don't know what it's going to take to get more people from my community, from my culture, to embrace this idea because for so long we have been neglected. We have been misinformed. We have received so much misinformation that I am going to make it my mission, my personal mission, to say, hey, if kids are in your presence, these are the things that are most important if you ever want to see this kid have a chance in life. And if you ever want to see yourself have a chance in life, these are the things we should be talking about in our community. Oftentimes, the mind is flooded with realizations that were for some reason harder to come to when you were at a lower elevation. At this moment, most of you need some realizations because right now you have some big decisions to make. And I don't want to bore people with all of the medical jargon and all of the, the, the scientific terms. I want to be able to break this information down so that we can start to make micro changes and that our kids have a chance to survive in this world. And even though it's 2020 and we're not really sure on whether or not we're even in the right place, the mental is the most important thing that you can take care of. And there are some simple things that we can do as black and brown parents, as parents who are coming from struggling situations. There's things that we can do just by mind control, just by the words that come out of our mouth. And essentially, that's all that it takes. Because the truth is, adversities are going to be a part of life for the rest of your life. For every single day that you are breathing on earth, whether you're rich or poor, you are going to face adversities. But if you don't know how to handle those adversities, your brain's gonna do exactly what you think, it, think, think and tell it to do. And so if we can get this information in the hands of 
people who are at a loss for what's happening with kids, at a loss for what's happening with their peers, at a loss for all the times they see their friends posting about depression. This is what ACEs Matter is on a mission to do, and it's bigger than just ACEs Matter. And if you want to be a part of the good fight, and if you want to get into some good trouble, this is the organization that you want to invest in. And while ACEs Matter is going to do all it can to raise as much capital as we can so that we can see this mission through, I'm going to recommend a few other additional free resources that in the meantime, until we're out there knocking on your doors like Jehovah Witnesses, <laughs> no shade, you have access to some information that will help you if you're a grandparent raising your uh, kids' kids or if you happen to be a parent raising teenagers or toddlers or if you happen to be pregnant right now and you really don't know how you're supposed to make it. Whatever it is, we have a voice. We are smart as all outdoors. God gave us this mentality. And now we're going to work our butts off to try to understand how to control what's happening up here so that these little babies that land in our arms, that land in our presence, that show up on our timelines, know what to do in the face of adversities. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory. As is often the case, those that follow most often enjoy the results of the progress you gain. So whether you can give $1, $2, $5, or even take the idea of Aces Matter and share it to your social media timeline, it is of utmost importance that we all be a part of this fight. There is nothing more important than understanding the power of the mind and the control that it has on our lifelong satisfaction. We are going to break this information down so that no brain is ever left behind and that every child, regardless of their color, regardless of their home situation, has the resilience to overcome the things that make them who they are today. And that's why I need your help making ACEs matter, a coffee table conversation, anytime mental wealth, I'm sorry, anytime mental uh, wellness, or anytime uh, uh, children's behavior, or anytime your own unfortunates come up, I want you to be thinking about ACEs matter because we are going to change what we believe about ourselves, our community, and our own growth as a culture. That's why ACEs matter. You wanna join us?